I do it every time. I mean, I, I'll be on too. If every time I threw my arms up or every time I got touched, I, I'm going to the free throw line. I mean, it's kind of hard not to get into a rhythm that way when you shoot 21 free throws alone. Um, and they allow you to, to, to hack on the other end. Marcus Smart just told me that I flail a lot. Come on. Uh, I mean, I'm sure he knows himself and he knows his game too. Uh, you know, he does a lot of that. Uh, and I don't think I do. You know, the game is physical. Other teams tend to try to be extra physical against me. And I guess I'm just smarter than everybody else. I just take advantage of it. He's just smarter than everybody else. Uh, Max, I'll start with you. So, obviously, flopping accusation aside, he is averaging 26 and 11 right now. Is he, Joel Embiid, your MVP? So far this season, yes. First of all, his team has the best record in the conference, and it's largely because of him. And it's not just the offense. And you see what the kind of business he gives guys like Tristan Thompson and Tice. Those guys are no match for Embiid. For all the kind of small ball that they play now, Embiid combines some of those skills with some classic big man skills. And there's really not a lot of guys who can match up with him just physically. On offense, gave him 42 points. But defensively, especially in the start of this season, I thought he's been the best player on the team. And Ben Simmons coming back from injury. But Embiid has an enormous impact on defense. So if you're, if you're having that kind of impact on both sides of the floor and your team is the best record in the conference, to me, you're the MVP so far. Please. I don't even want to hear it. It's Kevin Durant. It's Kevin Durant right now. Let me tell you something right now. If, 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 don't look like that, big boy. Kendrick Perkins, you heard me. Kevin Durant right now is more of an MVP than Joel Embiid. The brother averaging 30, 54%, shoot 48% from three-point range. This brother, by the way, Kyrie Irving disappeared for seven games. Kevin Durant was still flowing. Okay, James Harden came back for the last three. You know, they won the first two, and then they lost last night. Let me tell you something right now. You look at KD, 18-month hiatus on an Achilles tear, and then comes back and doesn't look like he's missed a beat. It's not one, it's one thing if this was the middle of the season. No, he came back immediately looking like KD. And oh, by the way, when you talk about the Philadelphia 76ers, I don't want y'all to pay attention to something. You know what? I'm just done thinking about the Curry. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of mentioning it. Hey, I've just decided it's all about Curry. Just, just like little Kendrick Perkins, aka Stone. Okay, just like he doing his thing on the basketball court in the football field. Look at what the hell Seth Curry doing. You got Daddy. You know, Daddy Curry doing his thing for years. Then you got Steph Curry being the greatest shooter since man. All right. And look at Seth Curry. Look at Seth Curry in Philadelphia right now. Averaging 17 a game. Yeah. Shooting about 60% from the field, about 59% from Playing more than he point did range. In the past, I mean, my God, if you're a curry, you can shoot, damn it. All right, and that helps because Ben Simmons clearly still can't shoot, only averaging less than 13 a game and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, collectively, with Maxi and Embiid and Curry and Tobias Harris ball Thibel. and all of this, and Thibel and these boys, I'm looking in Brooklyn. It's KD all day, every day. I mean, just look at this brother right here. Clearly to me, when I think about KD, he going to win two awards this year. He going to win MVP, and he going to win Comeback Player of the Year. Well, well, look, Stephen A., listen, I'm not totally disagreeing with you about nothing that you're saying. Saying about Kevin Durant. He's flat out balling. But we already knew this. The only person that didn't know and had and had suspicion was Max about, oh, is KD going to be all right? Because almost always after Achilles tear, you don't be the same player. We know KD is a walking bucket. We know that if he wanted to, he could lead the league in scoring every single year. He's just that, he's just that type of a talent. But if you look at Joel Embiid and the impact that he's having, He's having the best career. I mean, yes, he's having the best season of his career right now. And I said this. Once they got Doc Rivers, I knew he was going to elevate and challenge Joel Embiid. He looks in phenomenal shape. And then everybody talk about, oh, Joel, you need to get your big butt on the block. And rightfully so. But guess what? He's mixing it up. I'm watching them do the one-leg dirt. I'm watching them bring the ball up, one-two dribble pull-ups. 
I'm watching the big fella Euro step down the lane, going to the block, putting ownerships on the ref, attacking the paint, using that big body quick spin moves. He's giving it all to us right now. The big fella is in his bag. Defensively, he's locked in. And look, I love Marcus Smart, but I don't agree with him about the game last night. Joel and B set the tone from the first quarter, right? And, and, and that's a rule in the NBA. And what he did was he set the tone for us being physical in the paint and made the refs say, made the refs take notice that, you know what, we're going to live in this paint. We're going to attack the basket. So the refs start seeing the Philadelphia 76ers attack early, so they started getting the whistle. The Boston Celtics was firing up three-pointers in the first half. So that's why they didn't set the tone for themselves. You can't knock Joel and B for being physical and getting to the rack. Right now, Max is right. If I had to give an MVP award to anybody, it would be Joel Embiid. And one, one more thing about Embiid. Marcus Smart, who's a very tough player, and he's smart. He's politicking with the refs, basically, through the media right now. But that's ludicrous that Embiid's getting all these calls. Embiid is right in his response. In fact, he's getting hacked on every play when he gets the ball on the block because there's nothing you can do. And he's getting double and triple teamed. And he's been phenomenal on both sides of the ball this year so far. And as a result, his team has the best record in the conference. That's an MVP. That's why he would be the number two guy for league MVP. And by the way, don't give me that best record in the conference. James Harden won the champion, <laughs> won, won the league MVP. The, and Golden State Warriors, the best team in the league. Russell Westbrook won the league MVP. They weren't the number one seed or the team with the best record. There's been plenty of people that have won MVPs that didn't have the best record. That's no criteria here. They have a and dude it, who's and, dominating and, both and, sides and, of the floor. Excuse me, I'm looking at Kevin Durant and what he's bringing to the table. And I, I, I Kendrick Perkins, I'm accusing you of the same thing I'm accusing Shaq of. Big man bias, even though so Shaq kind of agreed with me. In the end. I think it's big man bias on you, Kendrick Perkins. I think you're being a little bit biased because you, you're seeing the big boy in the post. you one of those dudes that don't feel that y'all get nearly as much love as you deserve because of how the game has changed and the big man is being ignored and not nearly appreciated as much as they should. Now, you're probably right about that in terms of their needs. And B, I would remind you, we are having conversations about Tyreek Hill being the best receiver in football. Yeah. And we are having conversations about Travis Kelsey already being a Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how special right. those brothers yeah. are. So all I'm saying is, is that, listen, Patrick Mahomes. defense would you take? Patrick Mahomes, excuse me? Whose defense would you take? I think I'd take, I think I'd take Buffalo by here. Yeah. I'll take, I I'll take, take Buffalo's Buffalo defense. Here. I'll take Buffalo's defense. The secondary. The secondary. Yeah. All right, the Chiefs are favored by three, and obviously he's going through the concussion protocol, but apparently he's also dealing with a foot injury as well. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens with Mahomes. Andy Reid, five and one with Mahomes in the playoffs, 11 and 13 with all foot other Foot injury didn't quarterbacks. stop him from picking up that first down, by the way. Yeah. No question. Shoot it up. All right, get ready for some top-notch quarterback play this weekend, guys. Rodgers, Mahomes, Brady, Josh Allen. Does Rodgers have the most to lose of the quarterbacks this weekend? Stephen A., your bad man. Plus, Shaq Diesel, yes, sir, joins us live. We're going to ask him if the big three in Brooklyn will turn out to be a big bust. First take. Let's get it. Don't miss...